Hey, what's up? My name's Aaliyah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So last weekend I posted a little poll on my YouTube community tab asking you guys what video you wanted me to film next. And a lot of people voted for the come book shopping with me video. And so I was like, all right, I'm done with that. So this week we are going to go book shopping and I'm going to take you along with me. And my family is also in town this weekend. So we are all going to go to the bookstore together and see if we can find some gems. So without any further ado, let's go book shopping. just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs>
Hello, so we're back from book shopping and I found some stuff. So I found so many things that my mom was like, um, why don't you have some now that you can get with your own money and then we'll get you some for your next birthday since my birthday's in August. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm gay. So these are the ones that I got for me. And it's quite a little stack. They have so many awesome romances there. So I went and scoured through the historical romance section and I found a couple things. So the first one I found is a Teresa Medeiros and it's called Yours Until Dawn. So this is one that I picked because I saw uh, Jessica from Peace Love Books talking about this and she was saying that this is her, well, one of her favorite historical romances that she's ever read and it's about this man who was in a battle and he was injured and he went blind because he had some kind of injury and once he went blind he just became like really angry at the world and he had a fiance at the time and she left him and since then he's basically just holed up in his mansion and is super angry and awful to everyone and so this woman named samantha is a nurse and she basically gets tasked with going and kind of like rehabilitating him a little bit and so she goes to his house and he's like super pissed off and he doesn't want her there and then she ends up kind of like making it her duty to get through to this man and uh she just kind of like brings light into his life and they end up having like a really cute romance and this also has a really cool step back that almost looks like a painting isn't that so cool I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that before so anyways I found this and it's super gold and shiny so anyways I wanted to try this out because I've been hearing a lot of good things about Teresa Medeiros from a lot of the romance booktube girlies lately they've been saying that her stuff is really good and I've never read her so I'm gonna give that a shot because if Jess from Peace Love Books likes it then it must be really good because she is like a romance queen and she knows everything about everything uh, and the next up I found another Highlander romance you guys know I'm kind of a slut for Highlander romances and so this one is a sequel to another one that I have and this one's called An American in Scotland and this cover is so stunning and I remember I saw this one when I was at the used bookstore last time and I didn't get it because I was like you know I'm already getting a bunch of other stuff whatever and then this time I went back and I found it. It, it they still had it it was still there so I had to get it and this also has a really cool step back isn't that so fun so anyways this is the sequel to another one that I have um let me see it's a sequel to this one in your wildest scottish dreams so this is book one and this is book three in the trilogy and so all i need is book two and then i have them all um but they all sound really really fun and this one's about um a woman with a secret and ooh, it says she doesn't realize that posing as a widow of the handsome scotman's cousin is more dangerous than she knew and when a simmering attraction rises between them she begins to regret the whole charade okay so she's posing as a widow to this guy and then she ends up meeting the guy's cousin and the cousin's really hot and it sounds like they have kind of like a hate to love romance and the main heroine is like really spirited and stuff it looks really cool of course she's spirited she's an american we'd love to see it Anyways, next we have another Highlander romance that's also a sequel to another one that I have. And this one's called To Catch a Highlander. And I thought this was really cool because I really liked the premise. Um, and apparently it's about this woman named Sophia and her father gambles away the family's whole estate uh, to this really rich lord. And the lord, I think his name is uh, Dougal. I, that sounds awful. Dougal McLean. 
and basically this woman Sophia is like we cannot lose our whole house like I, we can't and so she goes to the Lord and she basically tells him that she will play a game of cards with him and if she wins she gets the family estate back and if he wins then um she will lose her virtue to him essentially and so he's like okay cool i'm game and so it sounds like they have this card game and then they end up like falling for each other and this again step back hello hello this man can have my estate but whatever <laughs> um so anyways i got those three because i thought they just looked really good and fun and i just want to read some more fun historicals you guys know i must love for historicals so there's that and then i also grabbed a couple other things too so i was looking at their middle grade books because they have a really good middle grade section there and i found this book that i've been wanting to read for years and it's nevermore the trials of morgan crow so this is the first in a middle grade series and it's really really popular it's about this girl named morgan and she um is basically considered like a cursed child in this world because of the day that she was born on and so her mom has died and she is like 11 years old and her dad does not treat her very well and she has a stepmom who's a turd and a grandma who's not much better and um, basically it was said that she is born on this cursed day and so she uh, is basically destined to die on this day called Eventide, which is on her 11th birthday. And so her 11th birthday hits and things kind of hit the fan and she ends up getting like whisked away to this magical world by this mysterious man named Jupiter. And she kind of ends up getting put into these dangerous trials to become a member of this um, magic society called the Wondrous Society. And anyways, it's a whole thing. But I started reading it when I got home and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very cute. It reminds me a lot of Lockwood and Co and Amari and the Night Brothers if you're into that. So anyways, it's a cool vibe. It also has these really cute little like chapter headings and stuff. So anyways, this is a really good find. I'm really excited about this because I've been wanting to read this for so freaking long. And I just have never stumbled across a cheap copy before. And then next up we have a YA fantasy that I honestly never thought that I would read but I remember when this came out so many people on booktube were raving about it and I saw it and I was like well you know what this looks cool and I was reading the first page and it was really intriguing and I liked the writing style so I got Where Dreams Descend so this is like I said one that so many people were loving I know Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte was like obsessed with this duology and it's a YA fantasy about people with powers. I think they're like magicians kind of. And there's this magical circus. And I think we're following this girl who um, like enters this magician competition type thing. And I don't think women are supposed to be a part of it, but she ends up actually being really powerful and stuff. So anyways, it sounds really cool to me. And it also has a cool map in the front too. I can find it yeah so anyways I just thought that sounded cool and the part that got me um was the first couple sentences so chapter one starts off never come to hellfire house without wearing a mask it was one of the rare rules in a joint without any I don't know I just liked the way that that was written it's very interesting so anyways and it has these cool little roses as the chapter headings anyways so I'm going to give this a go and see what I think. I'm kind of getting away from YA more and more these days, but um, I haven't heard a single bad thing about this. So I'm going to go for it and see what happens. And then last, but certainly not least, is a graphic novel because they also had some really good graphic novels at the store too. And so I picked up volume one of Lumberjanes. This is, this is one that I've been wanting to read for a while too. And I remember I had it checked out from the library one summer and then I just didn't get around to it. Um, and so I just never got around to reading it and I think that really sucks because I've heard so many good things and the art style is really cool. It's super colorful and pretty. Let's see. Not so fun. So I just thought I would give it a go. I think it's just about this camp where, um, all of these girls go and they end up having this like really cool friendship and running into all these like magical creatures in the woods and stuff and it just sounds like a good fun and fresh time to me personally let's see if i can find another really cool page 
Isn't this cool? Anyways, so that's kind of what I found. Um, I also found some other things that I will get for my birthday. So I'll show you then. I'll probably end up doing like a birthday book haul in August. But anyways, that's where we're at for now. And the super nice lady at the bookstore gave me this really cool little bookmark. And it's for some shop in Missoula, Montana called Shakespeare and Company. That's like another bookstore. Anyways, I thought that was cool. So that is what I have for you. This is my lovely little book haul. Thank you so much for watching. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a yellow heart emoji for um, yours until dawn. And if you have not considered subscribing, I would love it if you would think about doing so. I usually post videos every Tuesday morning. And that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.